Welcome to the application delivery how-to series. My name is Sari. In this session, we are going to cover the topic of how to implement health score for your thousands of applications. So users usually monitor their applications with health checks. Health checks is an industry-wide generic term to see how your servers are doing, if they're up or down. Now, this tends to be a problem if you have thousands of applications. This is where Avi's health score comes into picture. The health score um, is Avi proprietary term, and it's applicable for virtual services, servers, pool members, um, service engines, and a bunch of other objects. So the Avi health score provides at glance view of how your applications are doing. And it is based on uh, performance, resource utilizations, security, um, and any anomalous behavior. So with that, let me log on to my uh, AVI controller and show you how it looks like. So now I've logged into my AVI controller. And once you log in, this is the first thing you see. See all the applications and every application has a numerical value, which is the health score. Uh, and uh, they're color coded also. So what is this health score? What is this numerical value, right? So this, um, this numerical score, which lies anywhere between one to 100. And the way we get that is everything is normalized to 100 and then each component is given a certain weight. And this weight is customizable. The next thing we see is all my applications are color coded to see how my health score is. So if your health score is anywhere between 85 to 100, your application color is going to be green. The next is yellow, which is anywhere between 65 to 84 orange, which is going to be anywhere um, to 64. The next is red and gray. So gray indicates that you're not utilizing that object. So if you are disabling a virtual service, it will have a gray, gray color um, applied to it. So now let's hover over one of this score. So this, this health score is further categorized into four different parts. So performance, resource penalty, anomaly penalty, and security penalty. So under performance, we take into consideration how your client experiences, how faster or how slow can you access that application. Um, a server response also contributes towards the performance score. And server response, if your server is sending a lot of TCP resets, or HTTP 500, it tends to lower the performance score. Resource penalty, um, for, this, uh, for this numeric value, we take into consideration how your pool members or how your service engines are now doing with memory utilization, uh, CPU utilization, um, disk IO, and all those things. For anomaly penalty, um, so what is anomaly, first off? any change in behavior or any change in pattern. So similarly, if, you're, if there is a change in pattern for your traffic, that contributes towards the anomaly penalty. Now, let me give you an example here. So let's say every morning between nine and 11, your traffic is very low. Now, one fine day, your traffic hits to the roof. That is a change of behavior and a change of pattern. So that contributes towards your anomaly penalty. Now, if you're expecting this uh, high traffic, you can go ahead and um, configure your profile or customize it accordingly. Uh, security penalty. So if there is any kind of con uh, configuration which might expose or cause your application to be vulnerable, um, that is considered under security penalty. So for example, a weak uh, SSL cipher or a certificate that is about to exp expire or self-signed certificates, um, if your application is under a DOS attack, all of that is um, under the security penalty. The, the final health score is your performance score minus the resource penalty, anomaly penalty, and security penalty. So let's take an example here. Uh, I'm going to, okay, take a look at, this health score. And this health score for this virtual service, I was given, let's go back here, see, for scale out, my security penalty was minus 20. So let's take a look at the help. And then we go to security tab. 
and let's find out why I, I have a minus 20. And as you can see, I'm using a self-signed certificate and that is contributing towards my negative 20 score. Uh, so with that, I, uh, we end our session here. For other exciting videos, please check out how, how to series um, from our catalog. Thank you so much.